In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for an unknown side in a right triangle. So the Pyth Pythagorean theorem is a theorem that has to do with only right triangles. And you probably have heard it before as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. When we use this formula, the c is always going to be the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right triangle, which is opposite from the right angle. So you may recall that we've talked about the fact that there's a relationship between the size of an angle and the size of the side across from it. The right angle or the 90 degree angle is the largest angle in a right triangle. And so across from it is the longest side, which is called the hypotenuse. So in this case, where we say that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, that c squared, the one that is on the side by itself, is always the longest side. So essentially what we're saying is the two shortest sides, when we square them and add them together, they are equal to the square of the longest side. So we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. If we know two of our sides in a right triangle and we need the last side. So we'll take a look at a few examples of how we use Pythagorean theorem to solve for an unknown side. First, we'll take a look at how we use it to solve for an unknown side if we don't know the hypotenuse and that is what we are solving for. So here we have a right angle, the two sides that make up the right angle or are touching the right angle, those are the two legs, those are the A and the B and then across is our hypotenuse. So we have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now it doesn't matter what is A and what is B here. So I can say this is A, this is B, and then this is C. So now I'm going to fill in values for each of those. So if A is 110 and then I need to square it. So 110 squared plus 88 squared equals, and C in this case is called M, so I'm going to say equals M squared. So now all I have to do in my calculator is square the 110 and the 88 and add them together. And that is 19,844. So that's what m squared is. But I wanna figure out what just m is. So I have to do the opposite of squaring, which is to square root. I'm going to square root both sides. When I square root the m squared, that becomes just m. And the square root of 19,844 is 140.9. And my units for both sides are in centimeters, so m is also in centimeters. We'll take a look at one more example that is similar. So if I say this side is b a, this side is b, and this side is C, we have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So 64 squared plus 22 squared equals R squared. Now if I square those two numbers and add them together, that's equal to 4,580. Next step is going to be to square root to solve for just R. And the square root of that is 67.7, and our units are in inches. So R is equal to 67.7 inches. Now, if we know our hypotenuse and we need to find one of the other sides, we'll take a look at how we rearrange our formula for that. So here we have uh, A, B, and C. So in a squared plus b squared equals c squared, a is g, b is 91, and c is 104.81. Uh, 
Now to solve for g squared, I need to isolate it. I need it by itself. So I need to move that 91 squared. So I'm going to subtract both sides by that. And that's going to get rid of it on the right side or on the left side in front of the equal sign and move it to the left side. So I have 104.81 squared minus 91 squared. Sorry, not quite yet. So that is equal to, so I'm going to square those and subtract them, and that's equal to 2,704.1361. So this I'm going to square root, and that's going to leave me with just side length g, and the square root is 52.0, and my units are in meters. So let's take a look at one last example. So we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So across from the right angle is the hypotenuse or c. We have a and b. So 83 squared plus k squared is equal to 86.13 squared. I want to isolate for k squared, which means I want to move over the 83 squared, so I'm going to subtract that from both sides. So I have 86.13 squared minus 83 squared, and if I square those and do the subtraction, that's equal to 500 and 29.3769. I'm going to square root both sides and solve for k. So k is equal to 23.0 and my units are in millimeters.